guys, it's Hey Sophia, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to day 13 of Craftmas, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and building the Grinch's Mountain. So if you've ever read Dr. Seuss, or if you've seen the movie The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, you know that the Grinch lived up in a mountain in a city called Whoville. So that's what we're going to be building today, the mountain. I thought it might be something quite different for like a Christmas village and something a little bit interesting and yeah, just different than what everyone else does. But let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is actually build a mountain now. This is going to be the first tutorial that I've ever done, which I've included world edit as part of my tutorial. Now you can completely do this build without world edit, but it's a lot easier if you do have access to it. Most likely on your server where you play, if you're playing creatively, you will have world edit. Otherwise you can build this manually. I have built before lots of stuff like this before manually. I'm pretty sure the last time I did this mountain, I built it by hand, I didn't use any programs, but just for tutorial purposes, I will be using world edit today and I'll show you the commands that I use to build it. First thing I'm doing though is I am just making a base for the mountain. So I think the shape that was naturally here already is pretty good. So I'm just lining it with some of the stone block. The mountain today will be made of stone block and we will also scatter on top of the stone some snow blocks and also those like build up snow blocks, the little ones which you can level as well. Once you have the base though, you just want to pretty much randomly click like I am doing at the moment and just work your way up in kind of like a vertical slope. You can see it's kind of going there. You just want to be looking at the size of your mountain and seeing how tall you would want it. Now this is too short for me at the moment and it's leaning over a little bit too much so we're just going to make it a little bit steeper and also a lot taller. Now if you can kind of guess I haven't given dimensions for this build simply because you just want to build it whatever you think looks nice for a mountain. The only thing about the Grinch's home up in the mountain is the top of the mountain has that little kind of curve to it. So you just want to make sure however big you build your mountain even if it's smaller or bigger than mine you just want to make sure you have that nice natural cu curve at the top. Just like I'm doing though, you want to be going back and forth just making sure that it looks alright from looking on. I tend to find with builds like this, it is this is a landscaping build in a way. Yes, I'm building a house in it, but this is a landscaping build. It's always best to just look from afar and see what you think is missing or what you could add. So I think this could drip a little bit more, which is what I'm doing at the moment. And then I'm like, okay, that's too flat there. I need a bit more of a curve. Add some here. And then you just want to look from the back again and then have another look at it. I think this is starting to look pretty good now. So we're going to start focusing on the other side. Now, before I start doing the world edit, I'm going to build a frame. Just like this, you just want to randomly kind of place a few stems of the stone block here and there. But the next thing we're going to do is, now if you are doing this manually, you can click like I am doing at the moment. The best way is you go up one row and then you build a row up on both of the two sides that are facing the inside of the mountain, if that kind of makes sense. So if I go one up like this and then make a triangle shape, and I've done this manually before, so you can do that manually. But for purposes to make this a bit quicker, I'm actually going to be using World Edit today. Now the way that I like to do mountains when I build with world edit is I use the brush command and I just bond it to a iron shovel and then I will use the command um, brush sphere and then you want the block that you want which is one for stone and the radius and then what you want to do is those frames that you built so you, either way you have to build at least the outline of the mountain 
you just want to click the spheres back and forth onto these little frames that you built and that way it's just kind of like you're painting in the side of the mountain and you're using the frames that you built as a reference that's like whoop I put myself in there that's probably the, the best way to go about doing it you just want to do it all the way up to the top and then curve a little bit more up there but all you want to do is that all these little edges that you made you just want to do the same thing and then join up the sides that you made so I've got one there so I might start placing around the bottom here and build up but there we go so I sped up ahead and once you place all those blocks your mountain will look a little bit like this the, the way I like to smooth it out is I will use the brush command again but I will use brush smooth. Now all this does is simply smooth the blocks that are already there, just makes it a little bit neater which I think looks nice for a build like this. Now if you were building in survival or building by hand you wouldn't have the smooth block, this is something that you would be doing as you're building your mountain manually but if you have world edit you can use smooth and that just kind of smooths out all the blocks that you placed. Once done though you just want to add some snow like I have done here. All I did was use a command to make it snow on top of the mountain so I'm not having to place a lot and I've also just manually put some snow blocks into the top of the mountain there just so it's a little bit whiter. Just a little bit more like snow looking when you have that white out effect so that's what we're kind of going for at the top of the mountain because there would be more snow hitting there compared to the bottom of the mountain. I think this is starting to look pretty good now. I think it's looking very cartoony, which is what I was going for because of the Grinch. So yeah, I'm kind of going for like a cartoony mountain, which is why it kind of looks like a kid's project volcano. But the next thing we're doing is adding some plants to our build, which I will be adding some of these spruce saplings. Now the way you want to be doing this when you have a mountain is the taller you're placing your spruce sapling. The less you want up there, so maybe in the top few layers you might only want one, halfway down you might want about three or four, and then below that you will want more than that. So along the base here I just kind of like to scrunch them up like this and then you get a nice bunched up effect. Now I will add more later on but for now this will do. Once you finish your trees so your build will look a little like this which I think is really starting to fit in with the town now. I think it looks very cartoony, very grinchy, which I think is very cool. But we're going to start focusing on the pathway up to the top of the mountain. Now we're going to be joining the pathway that I built originally up to the top using some cobblestone slabs as well as stone blocks. All you want to do is really just kind of randomly place them into a slab format so that people can easily climb up. Now you will have sections like this where there are gaps underneath the cobblestone but that's okay because we can just fill it in later on with some stone brick underneath. But yeah, so you can use any block you would like for this pathway. Today I'm using the cobblestone because I think it's the most kind of like, mm, like the most natural looking kind of crappy staircase block. So in a way you want to make the Grinch's house look very kind of like dilapidated 
and not cared for, kind of messy, and I think cobblestone really shows that well. Whereas something like stone brick or even andesite or concrete or something like that, it's going to look a lot neater and you don't really want it looking completely neat because you're building the Grinch's house. He's not the neatest person. But we're nearly up to the top now. You just want to keep placing them then kind of remove stone blocks when you don't need them. done though you just want to go around all the cobblestone slabs that you placed and just put some snow blocks built up around them this just blends the cobblestone in a little bit more of the mountain and makes it not stand out as much always from a distance you can even like really clearly see all the cobblestone blocks so you want to kind of blend them in best way to do that is just by using a snow block like this and it makes it look a little bit more natural I think this is looking pretty good though and I'm really really liking it so we're going to start focusing on the inside of the Grinch's house now. Now the plan for this kind of build is we're going to build a big telescope that overlooks the town. I'm pretty sure that's something I remember happening when I watched the original movie. But yeah, I'm just making a little overhang here with some cobblestone slabs and then inside it's going to be kind of like rough and really old and stained and stuff so we're going for greens and browns for carpets and blinds because together they kind of make a really really ugly color and then we're just making a gap here and this is where our super dodgy telescope will go I'm just playing around at the moment though and trying to get the entrance for our telescope right. You want a lot of space because it is meant to be spying on everyone in the village and in the Grinch movies it does spy a lot through that area so you want to make sure that you can clearly see the village. What we're going to do now is quickly make that telescope which I have basically just come up with a really quick idea for and it's kind of like rough and kind of like a like a rubbish telescope which I've done on purpose which is why I've come up with it really rough because he uses like a lot of borrowed and recycled materials to live off the Grinch that is I think it's only appropriate that everything in his house kind of looks half done so I'm just using the iron blocks and the quartz slabs and staircases to make my telescope. I'm also making some support structures underneath with the iron bars. Let's go up to the top here as well. And I am also going to put a frame around this little telescope glass area here, just so it's not by itself by framing it with some of the iron block and also the quartz staircase. And I'll add a, another little ice bit to the front of the telescope as well. So it's kind of like the big lens that is looking out over the village. I think this is looking pretty good though. There's a couple more details we can do to the situation that just happened. But I have sped up ahead now and finished off the Grinch's hideout. You can see I've kind of made it really raggedy looking. I've also put a lot of iron bars all over the ceiling. So it kind of looks like there's junk support beams all over it. I've put mushrooms in there for lighting. I've got redstone torches. I've got my dodgy telescope to the side so he can spy on the Christmas village townspeople. I'm also making a little dog bed here because if you ever watched The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, he actually had a little doggy. So that's our little dog bed there. And lots of just greens and browns and banners acting as bro like broken kind of curtains everywhere and crates and boxes but I think that's looking pretty good but there you go guys there is how to build the Grinch's mountain in Minecraft I hope you guys really enjoyed the tutorial this was really fun to do and it was in a way kind of fun doing world edit and something a little bit different 
than the usual that I normally do. Now this is something you can build manually and I have done this exact build manually in the past without using any world edit at all. But it just makes it a lot easier if you do have the materials and the programs like world edit. Like always guys, please like and subscribe and like always, thank you, bye! Thank you.